Hi guys, so this is my very first, I guess, video on Mersong today. I'm super excited to, you know, take on this channel now. Uh, I have posted a meditation, as you can totally see, uh, but I also want to do some videos where I talk about different topics and share my knowledge with the world so we can all raise our vibrations. And yeah, so I was thinking about what I should talk about and something came up the other day where I had a discussion with someone about, you know, being an introvert and an extrovert and it just came up um, and reminded me of how powerful labeling ourselves can be. Um, I think as humans, we want to identify ourselves with something. So we hang on to specific labels to help us function or relate to things in the world so we can kind of fall back on something when we're, you know, frustrated or, um, but it doesn't have to be frustrated. We can identify positively with something. And that's the difference I want to talk about is when we take things um, slightly too far or where we over identify with something. So, in the conversation, we were talking about, you know, being an introvert and extrovert. And it's quite interesting because we tend to choose one of these sides and then we kind of make it mean something about ourselves. And so, for example, like introverted people might, you know, not be good with people and extroverted are great, you know, communicators and they've got loads of friends. And um, these are like, two different kind of sides of it and or more the stereotypical side of it and it's interesting because I feel like depending on the situation I fall into kind of both categories or I've been labeled both categories so when I'm out and about living alone um living in the UK people um tend I feel like people would say that I'm extroverted because I go to all these networking events. I'm very happy to connect with people and I'm a very people person. Like I love community. I love um, making friends and connecting people with each other. But then when I'm back at home with my family, I'm very um, inward focused, which means I don't talk much. I usually keep to myself and I sit in my room um, and even in, at family gatherings I'm the one who's just like listening or kind of like zoning out um, and I think it's because not because I'm either or I'm either extra or introverted I think it's just the upbringing uh, not that the sense that's how my family brought me up I mean the sense that I've moved around a lot in my life and I feel like because um, I didn't grow up here in Poland so I didn't I forgot Polish at some point in my life and so I feel like there I have this actually um, this belief I know that I have this limiting belief that when I'm in Poland I'm I'm not I'm misunderstood I'm not, um, I can't express myself as well as I can in English. So there's this mass, so I hold myself back from bringing topics up because I feel like I can't express myself, like I don't find the words that I want to and I feel like I can't, um, my point won't come across the way I want it to. So usually I just let everyone else talk and also because I feel like I fall into that childhood mentality where I think I feel like, you know, the parents or the family, they take care of things. I just sit back and they do their thing and they kind of, I guess, make the decisions, right? So it has nothing to do with being an introvert um, or being an extrovert. And I see people get so stuck in trying to identify, um, you know, or they kind of 
go to that place where they over identify. So for example, I mentioned a limiting belief um, that I can't communicate. And so I feel like a lot of people tend to say they're introverted because they have either a social anxiety or they're, they don't trust people. So they, they say, oh, I'm not good with people. And so they create this kind of lifestyle that um, kind of reasons why um, they don't do certain things. And personally, I feel like that could be blocking you from actually going and making friends because you're saying, oh, I'm an introvert. I can't do that. So it's almost like we're giving an excuse or backing up the way we live with these labels by saying, oh, I can't, um, you know, I can't interact with people. I'm bad with people because I'm an introvert. So it's almost like... Because we have a limiting belief, we're giving it a reason, um, a label, so that we don't have to explore that limiting belief, so we can sit in the comfort zone. And so um, that's when it can become problematic. And so some people can see extroverts as loud people, as people who are maybe inconsiderate, or I like I'm just thinking things up. But it could be that extroverts are quite, um, you know, maybe they do care about their surroundings. You know, it doesn't have to be that they're loud. They just might be, um, you know, I don't, well, I don't want to say like good with people because introverts can be good with people too. I think they're, you know, they can have great one-to-one conversations too, or have, be in a group with like-minded people and enjoy their time. So I don't think that labeling is, you know, limiting. It can be limiting. That's what I'm trying to say. And so it's the same thing with saying, oh, I'm an empath and I'm a narcissist. I mean, I I haven't heard anyone ever actually claim that they're a narcissist. (laughs) I've heard people claim that they're empaths, but I've never heard anyone claim they're a narcissist because it's got a bad rep. But then the thing is, people say empaths are, you know, very sensitive, um, you know, and um, maybe, you know, they're too sensitive. They've got too many feelings. But actually, or, or another thing I've heard empaths say is that um, because they're so sensitive or because they care a lot about other people, they get hurt all the time. And so they create this belief that because they're empaths, they get hurt all the time and they get stuck in that identity of feeling like they will always attract someone who's going to hurt them, like a narcissist in their life. But that doesn't have to be the case. But because we've or they've labeled themselves and put them in these categories, um, they limit themselves by the stereotypes or how, what it's viewed as. Um, And I think narcissists and empaths aren't too far away from each other. It's just that they just get this bad rep. And it's just interesting how people get stuck in these beliefs and make it mean that that's who they are when actually we're like limitless. We can change every moment in time because time is like time is now, right? So what I think to summarize this video is that when we take labels too far, we actually limit ourselves and it can give us comfort though um, to have a label. Like I would say, you know, I'm a life coach, right? I'm saying saying that to help other people you relate to me it's not that I'm so stuck in life coaching that I can't do other stuff I'm actually quite interested in doing other stuff as well because I'm a performer um so I don't so it's interesting when I start doing like I start labeling myself now as a life coach I have a lot of people thinking I'm moving away from my performing and creative stuff and moving straight into life coaching and I don't do the other stuff anymore it so it's quite interesting how we like to box ourselves in and so to summarize um I want to encourage you to see where are your limiting beliefs about you know being a specific category, a specific label, how it's actually, it might be stopping you from expanding as a person, expanding who you are, because every moment in time, we can change things. We can create different states in our bodies. We can, you know, actually move from feeling sad to feeling happy because we can change the energy in our bodies. 
So in a way, we're actually fluid. We're quite, we're in the flow. We can switch. We're, you know, when you're with your parents, you act differently than when you're with your friends, right? Or when you're at, you know, if you're at the police station, you might act differently than when you're at a club, right? So that's, I guess, the the subject matter that I want to share with you guys or the wisdom I want to share with you guys is how labels can actually stop us from expanding. So thank you guys for listening to my very first uh, video here as Mersong. You can find me on Instagram as well. That's where I go live with lots of other cool people, where we learn, where we uh, learn to uh, or get allow ourselves to explore ourselves, where we go inwards to see and rediscover ourselves. So yes, YouTube's one place, but Instagram is where I have my con- where I have conversations with you guys, where you can engage with me uh, more often and follow my journey. So thank you guys so much. Love you all.